Hey everybody, it's your boy Z-Man here to bring you part two of our Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red. I've got to get used to saying that. So in the last part, we took on Gary Mafolk and his Squirtle using our first Pokemon named Charmander, aka and Fuego. It means on fire for those of you that didn't know, although I did get a comment telling me what it meant and I was like, yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? But yeah, we're left standing here next to this little girl before we head out on our journey to Route 1. I don't know, maybe I should go visit Daisy again. No, I I gotta look back. Look, look! I copied what one of this what it said on one of those tra trainer tips signs. This is the most manly little girl ever. Trainer tips, press start to open the menu. No freaking duh, woman. Stupid. Alright, let's head out onto Route 1. First step out on our newest adventure. Out here on Route 1, there are two Pokemon for you to grab. Uh, the first one being Rattata, the other one being Pidgey. Both of them show up 50% uh, of the time. Rattata is actually not a bad Pokemon if you want to. Which one are we going to get here? This is going to be a Pidgey. But Rattata is not a bad Pokemon if you want to pick one up to be an HM slave. Because uh, I believe he can learn most of the HM, which is pretty impressive. So I'm going to take down this Pidgey using two scratches. Easy. Wow, that was a very strong tackle, apparently. There we go, we took down the Pidgey. We're all good to go, get some experience out of it. Hopefully next time I'll grow to level 7, because I really want to get Ember. Uh, Pidgey is not a terrible uh, flying-type Pokemon. Uh, there's two main ones in this game. I think the other one's better, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, this guy is from the Pokemart. You talk to him? He'll give you a potion! Yay! Now we got two whole potions. I'm so excited about that. Alright, let's keep going. We need to make our way to Viridian City, which is a color, apparently. I don't know what color Viridian is. I'm sorry. I don't know if it, Maybe it's not a color. Who knows? Hey, little boy! You, do you, you should have your own Pokemon if you're going to be out here. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Actually, it's a very- I did not mean to talk to you again, that was accident. But yeah, that's actually one of the better ways to get back to Pallet Town. We're going to need to get back to Pallet Town. Here's our other Pokemon that I was talking about, Rattata. The purple mouse. It grows up into a fat brown mouse. I always thought they should have kept the mouse purple, but hey, I can live with that. Oh, stupid Rattata using Tail Whip. Yeah, I'm basically I'm going to show each of these, uh each new Pokemon that we fight once, and then after that, you've seen them, you've seen what they can do for the most part. I'll go ahead and um, cut out any other random encounters that involve Pokemon we've already seen. Please go to level 7. Yes! Give them level 7. Good job, in Fuego. Raising special attack speed. Raise everything except for like special defense about. Plus, we get to move in, but Ember! That's awesome! We need that move. It's a fire type move, so we get the same type attack bonus and everything. All right, we're almost to Viridian. Of course, every single time, right there. All right, so I kicked the crap out of that Rattata. Let's keep heading on. We are here. We've made it to Viridian City, the city of evil, kind of. We'll get to that when we get to that. All right. Um, just taking a quick survey of the city fairly small place. I know there's uh, something up there. If we try to continue on towards uh, the next route, this guy... I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. He's, he's crazy. Do not mess with him. Alright. First things first, I'm going to head down this way. Uh, that's actually Route 22 down there. That's the path that takes you to the Pokemon League. Uh, we're not quite ready to go to the Pokemon League, but you can come up this way and grab yourself another potion, giving you three for the game. You actually can't buy any other potions, so might as well pick these up while you can, just in case. You might need them later, who knows. Alright, so first, I'm going to go ahead and heal up in Fuego really quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so in Fuego's all good to go. Um, if you remember from uh, Pokemon Black, they actually consolidated the Pokemart and the Pokemon Center. However, now the Pokemart, in this game, the Pokemart is its own separate entity. And as soon as we walk inside... Hey, you came from Pallet Town? Why, yes I did, good sir. You know Professor Oak, right? Yeah, the creepy guy that doesn't even know my name. Yeah, I know him. His order came in. Can you take it to him? So we get 
Oak's parcel from the Pokemon Clerk. We don't even know what it is. Uh, we can't sell it, we can't do anything with it except for take it back to Professor Oak. And considering we can't move on with the game anymore until we do, uh, you might as well head back to Pal Town to give it back to him. There's lit literally nothing else you can do. However, we don't have to deal with any random encounters now because the ledges! I can go down these ledges. You can't go up the ledges, you can only go down the ledges. It's stupid. And I really wish they would have put him in a straight line like most of the games ought to do, but hey, what can you do? And we've made it back to Pallet Town. I should probably tell Daisy I'm back. Nah. I'd, be, I'd, I'd come off a little bit too needy if I did that. I mean, gotta play it cool, gotta play it cool. Hey, Oak, I got something for you. Oh, hey, Bulbasaur, how you doing? Hey, yeah, you're the last Pokemon here. That sucks, dude. Hey, Professor Oak, I got something for you. Oh, Z, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be a talent. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You've got something for me? So we give Oak his parcel, uh, which is actually going to let us finally continue on with the game. Ah, oh, it's the po custom Pokeball. What the custom Pokeball is, I'm not sure. There have been theories about this. People think... I don't know, I'm sure there are theories about this. I'm not very well read up on these. I had it on order. Thank you. So here comes Gary Mafalk. Nobody likes you, Gary. Leave, Gary Mafalk. Alright. Oh, right. I have a request for the two of you. And he... On the desk over... On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. That's right, we're finally going to get that Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. This is where the uh, gotta catch them all thing comes in handy. Uh, actually, once you get the encyclopedia, that's the big thing, once you get the Pokedex. Z and Gary Mafalk, take these with you. So he's going to give each of us one Pokedex, um, and it's our job to fill it up as much as we can. You can't get detailed data on the Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain the complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. And then he also gives us some Pokeballs, which is very helpful, because we need those to catch Pokemon. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. That won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. You have to be really lucky if you get one of the legendary Pokemon. Oh jeez, those things are impossible to catch, it's ridiculous. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old to get- I can't get the job done. Bull crap. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. This guy makes trips to Johto. In- in games, he makes trips like Johto. I'm pretty sure he's made another trip somewhere, but whatever. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps. All right, Gramps. Leave it to me. I gotta come up with a really good name for Gary Mafolk. Cause I mean, just the name, Gary Mafolk. Awesome name. Gotta give him a good voice. Z. I hate to say this, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a time map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Z. <laughs> Don't bother coming around my place after this. What? Dude! That was an awesome- that was an awesome evil laugh! Come back, teach me how to do that! Teach me how to do that! Gary! Gary my folk! Oh, he's gone. Well, maybe I should tell Daisy. Daisy, your brother was mean to me. Give me a present. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. And she gives us the town map. Yay! Daisy loves us. I love you too, woman. Now I'm leaving. Bye! Daisy's awesome. Hopefully she won't get too bored without me. Alright. Back out onto Route 1. Once again, catching random Pokemon. Ah, oh, I hate random encounters, especially against weak Pokemon like that stupid Rattata I just ran into. Alright, hopefully I don't get any more. If I'm lucky, we won't have any more random encounters. And I'm getting really pissed that I don't have, like, freaking running shoes yet. Why you have to have running shoes in this game makes no sense to me. I actually made it all the way to Viridian City with only one random encounter. That's actually very helpful. Alright, so once again, we're back in Viridian City. Way up here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and actually I might as well show you the inside of the Pokemon Center. I I was thinking about that when I came in here. This is the Pokemon Center. Up these steps, I believe, are where you do your online battling and um what's the other thing? Trading, online trading and all that. This is a bookcase. There's Pokemon books on it. No one reads in this world, however. Over here is a town map. If you ever don't get too lazy to look at your own town map, here's the town map that tells you, hey, look, Indigo Plateau, look, Pewter City, there's Celadon and the uh, Safari Zone and uh, the Cinnabar Island. It even tells you where you're at. It's awesome. It even, it even has your face. That's just creepy. Why is my face on the map? Whatever. This is the PC. We will be uh, getting more into that later. You can access the PC, uh, go to the Pokemon storage system. You can actually put Pokemon in here once you have more than six. It's awesome. So that's where the PC is located. It's the exact same in every single game. And this is Nurse Joy before the redesign. Hey Nurse Joy, what's up? Here, heal my Pokemon please. She will heal any one of your Pokemon to full health and full PP. Everything good to go. So, and Fuego is now completely healed. Let's continue on with our journey. Um, I want to come up... I don't think I need anything from the Pokemon. But we do have a few Pokemon. We gotta go out to Route 22 and catch a few Pokemon. You actually can trigger a rival battle um, while on this route. I do not want to trigger this rival battle right now. Uh, you, can, you can do a battle against Gary Mafolk. I don't find the need to, so I'm going to run around until I find the Pokemon I want. This is not the Pokemon I want. Alright, so that was not the Pokemon I wanted, but Enfuego did grow to level 8, which is nice. Uh, this is Route 22. In Route 22, there are three Pokemon that you can find. First is Rattata, of course, 45% of the time. The second one is this Mankey. Uh, this is level 2. I believe it goes level 2 to level 4 or something like that. Uh, you find Mankey 45% of the time as well. This is one of the Pokemon I need to pick up if you were going to, uh... Mankey actually does make quick work of the Pewter City Gym if you train it right. It, this is mainly only for if you, um... What am I trying to think of? If you pick Charmander, this is the Pokemon you want to pick up for the first gym. Because it is a fighting type. Fighting types are strong against rock types. That's what the Pewter City Gym is. So we're going to catch this Mankey. And I don't even know what I should name him. Um, actually, I think I got a name. If I can spell it correctly. Z uh, boo. Oh, I don't know how to spell this. Maybe it's a U. It's a boo. I gotta, I gotta look at it. Uh, boo. Close enough. I don't even, I'm not even sure if that's how it's spelled, but that's how I'm going to spell it. Alright, so there's our first new Pokemon. Please be the one I'm looking for. It is, yes! This is Spearow, the third Pokemon you can catch. This one's the hardest one to find. This one only shows up 10% of the time. Why I want to catch this Pokemon, um, it's Spearow. It turns into Fero. Very, very strong. And I'm going to go ahead and catch it right now. That was Good job, Mr. Uh, Fuego, for getting him down. Actually, it's missing Fuego. And this Spearow is going to be female, too. Nice. I like it. Catch the Spearow. We got two new team members. Actually, only one of these is actually going to stay on our team past the Pewter City Gym. I'm going to dump Mankey as soon as I can. I really don't like his uh, evolution. It's not all that strong. Yes, I will give a name to the Spearow. He shall be named... Ah, crap. It's a girl. Oh, I got it. Her name will be Sue. And if you don't follow the WNBA, you probably don't understand the reference. Alright, so, we've caught our next two Pokemon team members. Awesome, we're back here in Viridian City. We will head on, onward and upward towards Pewter City right after uh, I take a short break. So, thanks for watching, guys. Next part, we will head up to Pewter City, up that way, that way. And um, I'll see all of you guys then.